We're going to talk about fractions of a group. This is lesson 10.12. We can write the fractions that make a group. Here we have a group of six gems. There's two green ones and four pink ones. Because we have a group of six, that's our denominator. That's the bottom number. There's six in the group and two are green, so two sixths are green. There's six in the group and four are pink, so four six are pink. And we can use amounts of coins. You can hold five pennies and then toss them gently. You don't want to throw them hard. You want to toss them very gently onto a table and then count how many are heads and how many are tails. And just look at the coin and see how many show the head of Abraham Lincoln and how many show the back of the coin. See? So we have four that are heads, one that is tails. And there were five coins, so that's our denominator. That's the bottom number. There's a group of five, and four are heads, so four-fifths are heads. Four of five are heads. There was one that was tails. There's five in the group, and the top number is our numerator that tells us how many are tails. One of five are tails. See? And you can use quarters or dimes or nickels and try doing heads or tails and seeing what fractions you get, all right? Find how many are heads and how many are tails and then what's the fraction of heads of the group and what's the fraction of tails of the group, all right? So here we have four gems in the group. See the four gems? And there's two blue gems. There's four gems in the group and two are blue, so two-fourths of the gems are blue. There's two purple gems, and there's four gems in the group, so two-fourths are purple. See? Now we have nine gems in the group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gems in the group. So what's the fraction of gems that are green? Well, right away we can write how many are in the group down here as the denominator, okay? So remember I told you before that the top number is the numerator, the bottom number is the denominator, and the fraction bar separates them, but you're going to learn more about those words in third grade, okay? It's okay for you to know them now, but you don't have to worry too much, okay, if you don't remember. So this bottom number is the one that tells us how many are in the group. The top number is the one we're looking for. How many are green? One, two, three, four, five are green. So five-ninths of the group are green. How many are purple? Well, we know there's nine in the group, right? So we can write the nine down here right away. And how many are purple? One, two, three, four. We write that as the top number. That's how many are purple. So, we have four-ninths are purple, okay? Five-ninths are green, four-ninths are purple. There's nine in the group. Let's try this one. We have seven gems in this group. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many are pink? Well, I see one, two, three are pink. We know there's seven in the group, so three-sevenths are pink. How many are blue? There's one, two, three, four blue ones. There's seven in the group, so four-sevenths are blue. All right? Okay, let's try this. We need to circle part of each group to show the fraction. So we need to show two-sixths. We have one, two, three, four, five, six triangles, and two-sixths of them need to be circled. And there's six in the group. Two of the six need to be circled. That would be two-sixths. Let's try this one. We need to circle three-eighths. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these and three-eighths need to be circled. There's eight in the group, that's the bottom number, 
three need to be circled. See, we can circle any of the three. All right. Let's try this one. We need half to be circled. There's two in the group. See, that's the bottom number. And it says one needs to be circled. When we circle one of them, then half of these are circled. See, half of our trapezoids are circled. Let's try this. We have hexagons. Two thirds of these hexagons need to be circled. There's three here. That's our bottom number, how many are in the group. And this is telling us that two need to be circled. Two thirds of the hexagons are circled. All right. This is how many are in the group. This is how many need to be circled. Okay. Let's try some critical thinking. We've got these squares and we've got these rhombuses here. So which of these shows that half are circled? Is this showing half are circled or is this showing half are circled? Now I know you're thinking, well, that's saying there's only two in the group. But remember what we learned in the last video? That fractions can be equal to other fractions? Which of these are showing that half of the shapes are circled? There's six here and three of them are circled. There's five here and three of them are circled. If you look at these, we could draw a line down here in between these three, couldn't we? And that would be the same three on the top and three on the bottom, so that three would be half of the six, wouldn't it? So if you said, this is the one that's showing half, you're right. This is not half of the rhombuses. That's three-fifths of the rhombuses, and that's not half of them, okay? So remember, like we said in the last video, if we have something, and we can split it into six parts, okay? If I cut it in half this way, these three parts are equal to these three parts, aren't they? If this was a candy bar, and you got these three, and I got these three, you're really getting half the candy bar, aren't you? So even though there's six parts, and you get three six, and I get three six, we're each getting half the candy bar. So fractions can be equal to other fractions, okay? So this one is the right one. That one is showing half that are circled, all right? Okay, we're going to continue on. We're going to talk about recording data from a survey in the next video. All right, we're going to talk about how to organize information and record data. Okay, I hope I'll see you there and I hope you're doing okay. All right, bye.